The Supreme Court complex built in 1989 with the China aid has been playing a central role in the island's judiciary. The program to commence the refurbishment of the Supreme Court complex at a cost of 240 million yuan funded by the Chinese government got underway on Monday at an event created by the Chief Justice, Justice Minister and the Chinese Ambassador to Sri Lanka. 30 years later, our two governments are working together again to give this iconic beauty a new life, upgrading both the interior and exterior, providing brand new furniture and the MEP system. I'm confident that after the project finishes, the justices and the staff of both Supreme Court and the Court of Appeal this building itself is a testament of our long-standing relationship and the generation's effort to build our friendship stronger. The Chinese people have always stepped up when needed, help Sri Lanka overcome natural disaster, terrorist attack, pandemic, and economic crisis. And at the same time, our trusted Sri Lanka friends have done the same for us. Most recently, when the Chinese fishing boat tragically capsized at the central part of the Indian Ocean in May this year, Sri Lanka immediately set up a Navy vessel and a diving team to help. We will always remember it. No matter what challenges we encounter, I strongly believe that our deep cooperation and a strong partnership will help safeguard Sri Lanka's sovereignty. We know every time, whenever we had any problem, whether it's domestically or internationally, China has issued us with us in every fora in international affairs. Similarly, that domestically that you have extended your fullest support, which is very valuable to our people. This project alone will cost, is estimated as one 240 million. In Sri Lanka rupee term, around 11 billion rupees. It is a timely need and you have gifted it for a worthy cause whereas this, this is the symbol of our uh, rule of law. The refurbishment of the Supreme Court will take place across 32 months in two phases and all work is expected to be completed in October 2025.